Both human snowboard, snowbirds and actual snowbirds flock to Florida every year to escape the cold. I mean, I would too. Yeah, I can't blame them, but the survival of one bird species that migrates to Levy County could be threatened. WUFT's Maggie Lorenz toured the waters of Cedar Key today to learn more about the American oyster catcher. Florida Fish and Wildlife took me out in a patrol boat and I was able to get within about 300 feet of the birds. Cedar Key is home to the second largest overwintering site for the American oyster catcher. But their resting sites are at risk from boaters getting too close or causing big wakes. Surrounded by the Gulf Coast waters, Cedar Key is a hot spot for fishing and boating. But there are no speed or wake limits regulating the waters where the American oyster catcher rests in the winter months. They are out there and uh, they're not just typical seagulls. They, um, they, they, these are kind of special birds and we want people to be aware of it so that way they can pay attention to it when they're out there boating. The oyster catcher gets its name from its favorite food. The birds flock to places like Cedar Key in the winter and will head back north next month. It's hard to see now, but behind me are about 100 of these oyster catchers. You normally can't see these birds from mainland Cedar Key. They rest on small sandbars like these off of the Gulf Coast. The oyster catchers choose these offshore habitats because they're away from most predators and people. This makes them especially vulnerable to boater disturbance. When the birds are flushed off the islands where they're resting, they use up all that precious energy and it could, it could impair their survival. The oyster catcher is considered a species of special concern in Florida. FWC and others will keep their eyes on the birds to keep them from becoming threatened or endangered. When the birds are resting like that, please leave them alone. Don't try to beat your kayak or boat on the islands where they're at. Don't try to get so close to get pictures of them. I know they're beautiful birds. FWC encourages boaters to stay 300 feet away from birds resting on sandbars. Yeah, better safe than sorry. When in doubt, stay out. The birds are protected under a federal law, the Migratory Bird Act of 1918. To learn more about the importance of protecting the migrant birds, you can attend a presentation on Thursday afternoons at the Cedar Key Library.